And this is where we stop in the mouse trap in. It's about two or three minutes from the centre of Burnt on the Water, and we're heading to the centre now to start our walk. And at the bottom end of the village, you've got birdland, you know, a variety of rare species and different birds from around the world. And we've just got one or two little lambs in that, with mothers just, you know, under trees. And it's a lovely setting down here, it really is. There she is. I don't know what type of sheep they are though. We've got this little rare breed pig. And the farmer says he's not lost, but you know, he's in long field. Look at that. It's coming towards us here. Just stood there looking. Never seen out quite like this rare breed. Lovely little thing. There he is. Look at that, it's beautiful. We're just having a steady wander up through the village just to let you see what it looks like. And this is in the village, stood on the path I've just shown you. And there's your trout there, look at that. Can't get much closer, can you, than that? Well, we'll press on a bit more. And there's just a series of little bridges all the way along the river. One, one in the back there, two. And then if we zoom forward, Three. Rose Tree Cafe, the old man's hotel where we had a meal last night, pretty good value. And then we've got the uh, motor museum there at the far side. And just across the river, you've got the monument, and uh, you know, there's plenty of seating and everything. In front of the uh, motor museum, and the river's just in front of us again. We thought we'd just take a quick shot of this old car and fuel pump on left. Right, we're in Burnt on the Water today in the uh, Cotswolds and we're going to have a walk up to uh, the Slaughters and uh, across the top and back down the Windrush River. And as you can see the river runs right the way through and it's a high street, you know, banks and shops and restaurants and everything and it's just in front of us is river here look and you'll see the edinburgh Wo woolen mill turn left there in the chippy dead towards the church just turn right at the church and follow the road straight forward and just past the church you'll see a sign saying warden's way just follow that and keep heading forward through the two edges walk past the school on your left and at the top road you'll come to the Part of England way, turn left there and we're heading towards Lower Slaughter, then Upper Slaughter. Up to the traffic lights, turn right, and then after 100 yards, turn left, public footpath, Heart of England way. We'll be back to you. And you've got the uh, riding school on your left hand side and we're heading towards uh, Lower Slaughter. And we're heading into uh, Lower Slaughter now. And then straight away we come to a little stream on your left and we turn left with the church on your right. It's first time we've done this walk so we don't know what to expect. We keep heading forward. We walk by the uh, Washburn Court Hotel. We're heading towards Upper Slaughter now. Quick look at church there, St Mary's. It looks like the old school or something here. 1887. We keep walking a couple hundred yards and our right hand side, slightly off the road, we see the old mill. And just at the back of there there's a there's a tea room. walk by the front of the mill in the tea room the craft shop museum and then just past there on your left you'll pick up the warden's way and we're going towards upper slaughter now. and you're walking on the uh, 
right hand side of the water race. We just keep following the signs, it's easy. It's the 4th of April. You're walking with a taxi driver today. The river's still on left hand side. And then we go through a gate, we've come up slightly. And on your uh, left hand side, you've got the uh, Manor House Hotel. Just slightly breezy up here, but good day. Just press the hotel, cross the river over the tiny footbridge. So the hotel's on your left hand side now, and we're slightly going up. We're going to um, Upper Slaughter now. At the end of the track we turn left, walk round the bend a couple of hundred yards till you see the island in the road and the church at the back and then turn right there. And then we go down the side of the church and turn left down the track just at the left hand side of the seat. So just keep going up the track till you get to the road, turn left, short distance, then right, and we're, we're heading towards Norton on the Warden's Way. And then we're going to come back down the river Windrush. And as we walk along on the left hand side, we see three lambs messing about. We'll just keep giving you a quick burst of what everything looks like. We're heading steadily downhill towards road now. And then just across the river there's a pond at the far side and we see a couple of swans and some marigolds and we'll give you, check the zoom off. We're having a good feed. And there you can just see the swans in the background. We keep heading forward. Little tiny sluice has been put in to divert the water to the pond and then about 300 yards in front of the little lake. Look at that, wouldn't you like to live there? And you've got your daffies on your right hand side. Lovely spot, we keep going. So at the road we turn left. We walk up the road about 300 yards and just to the right hand side of the uh, two or three houses there, you'll see the sign saying Warden's Way and head straight forward. We're heading towards Norton now. We've got a cock pheasant here looking uh, it looks as if he's asleep and it's the 4th of April today and uh, you know on the 2nd of April the pheasants start laying their eggs and if he's got two or three ends he should be on duty a bit more than that I think and there we are oh no he's waking up he's away he's maybe heard me talking yeah buzzards there but it's not that easy to to film, he keeps moving about, but uh, you know, we keep trying. Yeah, we keep walking and we come to a, a farm and all cattle come and have a look at us because they're curious, but we just keep going through the farm, you know. Walk till you get to the end of the road, turn right within 300 yards, immediate left, and we're going towards Norton, but there's no signpost that says that. The sign says Whitcomb. And you'll see a house there on your left and it looks like a stable, you've got your horses. And as you can see, just keep heading straight forward. You can see there, public bridle way, we're turning left. And I suppose on this one, you could walk down the road or the inside of the wall, it still comes out the same place. Reading forward now, downhill, and even though it is a bit cooler today, you can see the uh, the blossom coming out there, look. Like I say, it's a bit windy today, but you know, we'll give you, give you a quick look at what we're, what we're seeing. We're just following the marked path. We're just heading through the tiny bit of wood downhill, and we're near the village now, and we might just have a break there. 4th of April, this wood in a few weeks time will be absolutely ablaze with bluebells. We've managed to find one, one that's out anyway. 
and there's a fair bit of blossom out just outside the hill and as you can see there just underneath the blossom we've got the first cowslip well first one that we've seen anyway we're just coming into Norton now down the path bottom of the hill just past them horses turn left onto the road and we're just having a bit of groom in here look walk down the hill short way and then turn right and just look to the left look at that for a rickety old barn there how many years old is that we turn right at the end of the road but if you look to your left about 50 yards you've got the uh, black horse pub and uh, if you want a drink or a meal I suppose we've never been in because it's the first time we've done this walk we don't know we just head forward up the village Walk up through the village, you go slightly uphill, got village hall on your right hand side, new turn left there. It says historic dovecote. And we decide to have a quick look at it, but all we can see is a couple of rooks and the river's at the back. Yeah, so you've got your little sluice in mill, looks like a tiny mill at that side. And then just outside at sluice we've got some water marigolds that are out. And if we look to the right, there's your dove coat. And we decide to have a drink of tea here. And you can go in, it doesn't cost you now. You have a quick look around, take your camera. It says open. We decide to have a quick look inside. And there's about three or four pigeons, and you can see all the little holes where they where they live in, look. See there, look. Yeah, and you can hear the pigeons. We go over that bridge and pick the path up at the other side. And that's just looking sort of back through the village. We're stood on the bridge, we're just heading straight forward up the hill through the hedges on either side to the road and straight over heading towards the river Windrush halfway up we come out onto like a dirt track we look to our right and uh, take a look at the the church and we take a quick look behind and you can see the dove coat on the left hand side of the picture but we head forward turning slightly left uphill and then we make it up to the top of the small hill just before we cross over the road we turn back and take one more look in one more picture lovely little lovely setting because you can see the village in the bottom of the valley there with a little stream running through and the dove coat and the pub you know just to give you an idea what this what the Cotswolds look like And we watch a couple of blokes playing at the 15th tee on the golf course. And they've allowed for wind. <laughs> no, you're, you're pretty good golfers, mate. Look at all the sheep dotted at the valley. Come past the golf course, dropping downhill now. Walk down to the bottom of the hill, over the little stream, and then left through the gate. Just keep heading straight forward. Well, there's plenty of pheasants about. There we are, it's just looking at us now. A bit windy, but you can't do nothing about it. When we come to the road, you'll see a sign, Public Bradway, Windrush Way. Just go straight over the road and head forward and rivers on your left and there's a medieval village on your right. And we're passing lower half of farms, that's on your left as we go across the field. And we look and we see some rare breed cattle at the other side. And just in front of where we think the old village was, there's like a, you know, like a pond in a, the rivers in front of us and streaming. You got a couple of swans there and a couple of geese. We think we have a red kite here. 
Or a buzzard, won't it, too? I think that's a red kite, I'm pretty sure it is. Flying right over the medieval village, he's gone. Well, we think that's a red kite, but we're having a job to film it, so we're just going to give you another look at the lakes and ponds in front of the stream near the old medieval village, but there's nothing left of it, just just impressions on the ground, that's all. And if we look into the pond, we can see a couple of uh, tufted ducks there, look. And you've got the stream in front of it. She's back up. We stood on what we think is an old base of a, maybe an old hut or a house in medieval village, but we're heading straight forward. We've still got the stream on your left hand side. And then we just look at these sort of strange tree formations. Massive trunk there, chopped off at top, and then like a head of ivy, and then on the bottom you can see the fungus. It's a lovely little river, I bet there's plenty of wildlife down here in summer. It's a right clean, crisp river that, you know, trout and kingfishers. And then we come through a gate, and the river's still on your left, but we look to the right, and there's a tunnel through the old railway line. A couple of ducks there just disappearing down the watercourse. And then the path starts going slightly uphill and you'll see an old badger set on your left hand side. Just keep following the bridle way and it'll take you up through the wood. As we're walking through the wood and we look down through the trees, the river's just at the bottom. We've just spotted a heron, so we're looking out for nests at the moment. Because we know the breeding at this time of year. Can you hear that noise? They're baby herons, we found the nest. Swaying in that tree. Listen. You can actually see them there as well if you look hard enough. You can see it. Look, see, this yeah. is that head. You can see on the, you can see, look, the chicks in the nest, look. Can you see them stood on the nest? <laughs> Baby herons in the Cotswolds. Can you see them there just on top? This is fantastic. Yeah. We've come 200 mile and we found a heron's nest. First time I've ever done this walk. As you come out the woods, about the 100 foot, you'll see uh, a load of trees being planted. So we just press on through the woods, keeping our eyes open and ears open all the time. And we're right outside at railway now, old railway. We're still heading forward. And as you come out the wood, head towards the farm. As you go through the farm, you come to the track, turn left, follow the Windrush way down towards the old mill cross over the little bridge and then think well it's such a lovely spot we'll just have a a quick look you'll pass little Aston Mill on your left and just head up that bit of road there as we've come round the corner we just can't resist a shot of this old sort of Coxwold stone there and then have a look at the other side in a minute look at this and then the other side, and this is an absolutely stunning with bridge and that, you know. It's fantastic and blossom. What more can you ask for? And this is people's gardens, but even the road looks like a, a garden here. Let's just show you. This is just at the side of the road on the way down to the mill. I mean, look at that. This is a fabulous place, is this? And then just at the top of the hill, another hundred yards, you'll turn right through the wood, you're following the Windrush way. Then just at side at path as we walk in, we looked at right, another massive badger set here. There's, you can see the tracks all over where he's been. So there's one hole there, look. And then there's another one, just at top side at tree there. We're not far from Borton on the water now. We think they're red kites then. Can hear them whistling. Look at that, there could be buzzards, but we don't know. Two of them. Three. Just above Burton on the water. Two of them, look, look. And Rook to keep dive bombing them. They don't like them near Ness. And look at aeroplane there. Look at his rooftop, look at that. You got buzzards above him. Ah, oh, look at that. 
And there's the treetops. Just filming buzzards here and we've got a bigger bird than them. Well, is that low or what? See, car there. Quick car there and look at that and then to aeroplane. Look at that. I don't know, is there field or what? We walk down till we meet the road and the bridge and go straight over. Follow the road down, keeping the river on your right hand side. And then uh, we just enjoy the view of the daffodils. As we follow the river back. It's quarter past six, but we just can't resist taking one or two more shots. We just turn in off the road, following the footpaths, and we're, we're more or less back now. We just, on that little bridge I've just showed you, we just look behind, look at that. Then to the left, you just don't know when to give up, but we're still going forward. We're another good bunch of water marigolds here, look. And you can just see the reflection in the water, it's really clear, is it? And this is 20 past six at night. And then we're more or less back in now, walking through these tiny little alleyways. And we're back to more or less to where we started, just near the Charles Wells pub. Well, the first time we've done this walk, we hope we've shown you a few things of interest. You've been walking with a taxi driver today. <laughs> 